Back, the RSS General Secretary while speaking at a program organized by the RSS affiliated uh, Sudeshi Jagran Manch has raised concerns of poverty as well as unemployment as far as the levels in the country are concerned. Sneha. That's right, Divya. In fact, Mr. Husable has said, and we quote, it is necessary for us to stay, to slay the demon of poverty, that more than 20 crore people are living under the poverty line is painful. Another figure I found, more than 23 crore people have an income of less than 275 rupees per day. Right, and these are concerns uh, are the same as the opposition in the country and has been raising even the ongoing Bharat Jodo Yatra that's being led by Rahul Gandhi is raising uh, these concerns and we've uh, you know been hearing them on a daily basis, Neha, by Rahul Gandhi. Let's just listen in to the General Secretary of the RSS. covid mahamari ke samay mein hum sab jante hain jis prakar pravasi mazdooron ke bhoot badi tadat mein bade shahro se gao mein gaye और अपने अपने गांव में रहकर वो कुछ न कुछ आजीविका के लिए प्रयत्न करने के लिए मजबूर हुए पिछले कई दशकों से देश के गलत आर्थिक नीति के कारण गांव गांव से नौजवान लोग रोजगार की तलाश में पलायन किए शहर की तरफ रोजगार कहां मिलेगा आजीविका कहां मिलेगी वो तो शहरी क्षेत्र में ही मिलना संभव है and to get more on this, we have our guests uh, joining us. We have PKD Nambir, a BJP supporter, as well as Vivek uh, Bansal, the in charge of Haryana AICC, uh, joining us as well. Uh, let me take my first question uh, to uh, Vivek uh, Bansal. The RSS General Secretary calls it a demon-like challenge to tackle poverty, which he's blaming on the economic policies of the last several decades, also on civil strife as well as climate change. How would you react to that? Definitely, this is what you see now. They have to... They have to for uh, reasons best known and, and it's, it's very obvious they are going to uh, you know, uh, include us as well when they talk about decades together. But uh, let me just uh, tell you one thing. We had been and our leader Rahul Gandhi has been very critical on this and very categorical that uh, uh, some people are uh, thriving under this regime and their, uh, um, their, their uh, wealth or their economic assets are uh, exponentially they are grow they are uh, growing up so obviously the benefits of the economic policy are not uh, filtering down to the lowest echelon of the, of the of the population this is definitely this is not since they too are that Gandhi has vindicated himself with his statement that the economic gulf is widening up and that's all concern and I don't think the people who are they are on the good politics is uh, is uh, succeeding. I I think so. They are not. That is what is happening to the lowest rung of the uh, ladder. Uh, the people who are at the lowest rung of the. And at the same time, you see the innumerable instances. And the, and the way the price hike is taking place, just come to think of it, the the, the people uh, deprived the economic. They are literally groaning under this uh, price uh, hike. So this is a senior cause of concern. And as it is earlier, the, the statistics that come out, people under the poverty line have grown. Have, uh, uh, whereas under the UPA regime, people under the, uh, under the poverty line had come down drastically. Whereas uh, now the, the, the number has inflated people who are under the poverty line. So uh, less said the better. I think it they, they, it's a, it, it um, uh, comes out to be a way we make a call for the uh, BJP leaders. Right. Um, absolutely. PKD, uh, Nambiar, if you would like to respond to that, how, uh, you know, the inequality is fact, in fact widening. When we talk about the wealth, it's the 1% of the population which has a more than 20% of the wealth of the country, while 50% of the population has only 13% of the wealth. So those raising concerns as far as uh, inequality is concerned. PKD Nambiar. Mr. Nambiar, just to add a question to what Divya has just mentioned, um, let's also face the facts while the BJP is going and ahead, going ahead and criticizing uh, the earlier governments and their policies, there have also been a lot of protests for unemployment even by the young in this country, whether it be just recently in Uttar Pradesh or we have seen last year as well as before how other parts of the country also there were students who were protesting, demanding jobs, demanding um, just the basic that they be given the basic opportunity to earn livelihoods. So isn't that happening under the BJP 
uh, ruling. Well, go, good morning, Sneha, and good morning, uh, uh, Divya. The idea is that unemployment and uh, uh, inflation is a reality. It touches upon everyone, not only just to the very lower middle class or the middle class, to almost every class of the society is going through this particular crisis. But then the, uh, the government, governance is always a, a long term. It's a continuation. It's not about only one, the, one government or oh, this one government has come and everything has become all right. That is not the way governance do uh, work in a democracy. And not only that, all these realities are not just related, uh, related to only to the central government. Even the state governments have a major play with regard to uh, em uh, employment. Also, the from the point of view of uh, uh, the, the inflation, because there are, if you really look at the, the complete data of state-wise, there are states like maybe UP and Bihar or some of the other states would have much more unemployment uh, than the other places. In the same is in the case of uh, uh, the, the inflation, there are places, uh, some of the states do have the vegetables and the, some uh, the FMCG products are much lower than the other city states like Delhi or many other states. So I think this is, uh, the RSS as an organization works in the grassroots. They do understand the reality of life. And uh, if, if the RSS number two person is talking at that very loud and clear, that clearly gives a feeling that, yes, they do understand the, the grievance of that. And I think it's not about just the politics. I think everybody to put together, the government do have to take an extra step. But but we always have to understand that we are living in a in a different world altogether. Well, we I are not an isolated island. We are not an isolated island. We work. We are a part of a global economy. But the only one thing which I feel is good for us is that we are doing much better off with the similar kind of an economy uh, as compared to even like we know that in the U.S. is going through their 45 years, the highest uh, the inflation right. as on today. So, so as with the UK, their uh, uh, foreign reserves have come down. As an economy, we are uh, very well uh, doing. Is we are the largest uh, growing economy in our kind of thing. But the only problem still is the large population. We need to feed all of them. We need to give them employment to each one right. of them. That's a huge challenge. In front of Four crore unemployment people in the country and our labor force uh, survey shows that the unemployment has started 7.6 percent and of course also when we talk about the rupee and how much that has weakened so many concerns and Rahul Gandhi bringing up all these issues on a daily basis in his Bharat Jyotra Yatra.